Okay, now we are gonna learn how to extract angles from any geodesic model. You can also apply this method to acetone, of course. First, you have to realize which part, this is a geodesic tunnel, and first you have to realize which part uh, lies on your table. So this, this red part here will touch my, um, the table of my miter saw. Okay, so now I'm going to have to define the axis in my components. Here you can see I already did that. And I'm going to trace, I'm going to trace around this line here. This, uh, you can't see it very well, but it has to be the outside line. This line, this line, and this line is where the red axis has to be for this to work. So let's give it a try. As you can see already, we have the axis already here. Let's mess, this, let's mess it up for fun. Okay, now it's messed up. And now we correct it. So I can pick either this side or this side. So let's go left to right, left to right, and then to here. Okay. Now we go to the to the next one. We look again. Here's our strut. Left to right. Is that left to right? Yes, it is. See, it's already correct. Left to right. And here, is it? Ah, here it's not left to right. Let's correct this. Left to right. And we want to be in this plane. OK. OK. Now we've done that, we've defined the axis, and now there's two methods to get the angles. Let's say I want to know. So here's left and here's right, when it lies flat on my table. So let's say I want this angle. I want this angle here, the bevel, the bevel of the compound my term. So take the protractor tool, I click and drag and I find my little point here. I click here and now it says on blue axis. So this angle is 29.9. Okay, and then I still need this other angle, this, this angle here. In this case, we are on the left side, and my base has to turn to the right. So again, I'm going to take the protractor tool and measure the angle. And it's uh, 4.6. OK, there's another way to uh, get the angle and I'm going to show you right now this is going to be a bit of a long longer video but it's a price we all have to pay to understand acetone because it's not so easy okay we need the rotated rectangle we're going to make ourselves a little little box and so we are, here we have a nice little box we divide this by two divide this by two this method is not as fast but it's more visual and then we use angular dimension two that's what it's called we go here we go here and we go here so there's a 60 degree angle here 
and that means there's a 30 degree angle here because together they're 90. Actually it's not 30, it's 29.9. And we can also apply this fun method on this corner here to get our what did I say? 4.6? Yeah, 4.6 from 90. Okay. And now we have our measurements. And. But let's say we didn't want to draw this off from scratch. Then we would just use quad face tools, an extension called quad face tools. I hope I have it. I don't have it right now. Let's find it. Where is it? Okay, close your eyes real fast. <laughs> so quad face tools. Um, we need this library first. Install this library, ttlib in order to be able to install quad face tools. Okay. Did done that. And now we can install now we get the library and now we get we take quad face tools. Okay. Now we have quad face tools. Now we go import and we find ourselves something nice. Uh, Acidome, Autodidactico. We find ourselves the objects that are hopefully in this folder. Let's say this one, import. Okay. And you can download, download these models from the site, Acidome. So now we have our little acidome, and now we do the same thing. We go into our nice little component. We realize that this is the part that will lie flat on the table saw. Uh, sorry, on the miter saw. So we want to, and we want to define it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this one, and this we want this line here. So, and we go again from left to right, looking from the outside, left to right, and to this point, we got it, and now we can get the angle, click and drag, and the angle is 34.3 okay basically that's all that's how it's done and now you could go to the calculator site and you will find this angle believe me you will find it so that's how it's done if you have any questions leave them in the comments thank you